in this question, we're given some shapes and asked to find which ones are congruent. So what does congruent mean? Well, it means if we slide, turn, or flip the shapes, then they will fit exactly. All right, let's start with shape A. I'm going to draw the outline of shape A. Okay, let's slide it to see if it fits exactly anywhere. So if I move it over to B, no, it doesn't seem to fit there. It doesn't seem to fit C. It doesn't seem to fit D. So it's not congruent if we slide. All right, let's move it back. Well, let's try turning it and see what happens. So if I bring it over here and I start to turn the shape, does it fit anywhere? Nope, not with B. How about C? Uh, it doesn't look like it for C. Well, let's try D. So I could come over here and start to turn it. Hmm, hang on a second here. There it goes. So if we turn shape A, it fits exactly with shape D. That means that A and D are congruent. So we have our answer right off the bat. A and D are indeed congruent. But let's make sure there aren't any other shapes that are congruent. So let me get rid of our shape D there, and we'll move over to shape B. What I'll do is I'll draw an outline of shape B. Okay, let's slide it. Does it fit anywhere? Nope, nope, nope. So it's not congruent with any if we slide. All right, let's try turning. So if I come over here and turn it with shape A, it doesn't look like it fits anywhere with shape C. Mm, nope. And with shape D. And it's not going to fit shape D either if we already know that A and D are congruent and it didn't fit with A. So B is not congruent with anything else if we turn. Alright, let's try flipping. So if I took this and flipped it and then moved it over. Nope. 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 So B is not congruent with any other shape. All right, let's just try shape C. So again, I'm going to draw an outline of shape C. And we'll start by sliding. So if I slide it, nope, doesn't fit exactly with A or B or D. So let's try turning. So if I start turning it, does it fit with A? Nope. Does it fit with B? Nope. And again, it wouldn't fit with D if it didn't fit with A. So let's go back here and let's try flipping it. So if I flip it, it's not going to fit any of them. Now what we should have done also to be accurate is to flip it the other way. So flip it flip it top to bottom. So what would that look like? Well, this shape would become like so. And let's get rid of this one. So if we flipped it top to bottom, it would look like that. And then if we try to match it up with any of the other ones here, again, it's not matching up anywhere. So it's not congruent with any of the other shapes. Okay, so what we found out is that if we turn shape A, then it fits exactly with the shape D, and so therefore A and D are congruent.